Welcome to our video tutorial on bug tracking with CodeBeamer. Today we will learn how to create or import bugs, how to assign them to a developer and to a software release, how to associate a bug to a commit, how to fix and mark the bug as fixed, and how to show the fixed bug in the release management. In CodeBeamer you have the possibility to manage your bugs in your bug tracker. You can either create a bug directly within the bug tracker or you can import a whole bunch of bugs from an Excel spreadsheet for instance. This is our tracker dashboard and you can see that we don't have any bugs yet. So what we want to do is we go into our bug tracker and import a whole set of bugs that we get sent from our customer for an instance. Over here you can import bugs from Word or Excel. I select the Excel spreadsheet with bugs that have previously been discovered in another software release. I click on next and you can see the mapping screen. Started row 2 says that the headings within the Excel spreadsheet will be skipped. You can define the date and number format that will be used after importing. You can set the mapping for different fields and you can see a preview of the imported structure of the bug document. This is another preview window where you can see that everything will be quite well imported and we click on save. CodeBeamer tells us that it imported 25 bugs and I can see all the bugs within this table view over here. On the left hand side you see the unique ID, you see the priority that's indicated by a green, yellow or red button. You can see a summary of the title, the status the bug is currently in, what kind of resolution is mentioned, in which version it was detected and uh, in which version uh, it is assigned to, when it's been submitted and by whom. I want to solve a bug that is currently new. So what I want to do is take this bug and associate it to a developer. And just by editing the bug, set the severity to critical for an instance, priority to high, the target version, uh, the detected version is let's say firmware 1.3 and the target version where it should be should be solved is Swimmer version 1.4 and I will assign this task to the developer. And click on save. I'm currently logged in as a developer so when I go to my issues I will see that this new task has been assigned to me. This is my new bug the status is new, submitted by me, and I should probably have a look into it. Okay, I know what to do, so I'll get, start, get to work on it right away. I go to my git repository and create a source code commit and associate this commit uh, to a task. This is my git repository where all the work that's previously been done for the software release is stored in. I know what to do. Let's say I have to change a file. So I go to my terminal and into my git repository. There I have some files and for instance I should change the readme file. This is the content of the readme file and I have to do a bug fix there. This is the bug fix that I've created. Save the file and commit it to my repository. I just have to look up the number so I can associate a source code commit directly to this bug.
number of the bug is 1967 go back to my terminal 1967 bug is fixed and I commit my change that looks good git tells me that I'm my branch is ahead by one commit so I push it to my repository okay the commit is pushed to the repository let's see what happened we go into my project and select the source code management repository that I've just pushed my change into in the git repository you can see that this bug is fixed today at 1633 by me. And also we can go into our tasks and see that there's a new source code commit associated to the bug that I just worked on. This is the bug and you can see the source code commit and that the bug is fixed and when I click on this little icon here I can actually see the change on a source code level. So whenever I do a change I will see the diff in here. Okay, this looks good. I can mark this bug as fixed. Mark as fixed and save. Okay, work is done. In our configuration management database, we have the future releases of our software. As this bug is associated to firmware 1.4, we can see that already task is associated and it has been solved, so there is no work to be done for release 1.4 anymore. This concludes our short tutorial on bug tracking with CodeBeamer. I hope you enjoyed it and I'd like to welcome you soon in another video. Thank you, goodbye.